we've come a long way from not knowing about oxygen or that fungi spread from spores to mapping the entire life cycle of pathogens and using electron microscopes to look at viruses. Here are some quick examples of important people and events in the history of plant pathology. Theophrastus, 371 to 287 before Common Era, he studied at Plato's school in Athens called The Causes of Plants and Injury into Plants, also known as Historia Plantiorum. These books were one of the most important books on plants until the Middle Ages. He studied what affected plants, the best time to harvest, how to prepare soil, tools to use, and diseases that affected plants. Robert Hooke, 1635 to 1703, once described as London's own Michelangelo da Vinci, this man discovered the loss of elanticity as well investigated craters on the moon. His study of plant diseases under a microscope led him straight to plant pathology. Heinrich Anto de Berry, 1831-1888. He is considered a founding father of plant pathology and the founder of modern mycology. He coined the word symbiosis. At the time, people believed that life was spontaneous generated. The idea is that you can mix inanimate objects together to form life. It was thought that fungi were produced by components of the plant cell. In 1853, he concluded that they were not a result of plant diseases, but caused plant diseases. Irish Potato Famine, 1845 to 1852. This was a period of mass starvation in Ireland. About one-fourth of the population either died or left the island. What caused the disease? A oomycete, a fungus-like organism that took advantage of three wet years in Ireland and caused an epidemic that ravaged the potato crop and caused a starvation. Julius Kuhn, or J. G. Kuhn, 1825 to 1910. He was a German agronomist and one of the founders of plant pathology. He focused on fungal plant diseases, including ones affecting beets and canola. More than 70 papers on microbiology and plant diseases were published during his career. Louis Pasteur, 1822-1895. He demonstrated that fermentation does not cause spontaneous generation. This disproved the spontaneous generation hypothesis and gave way to germ theory. Coffee leaf rust epidemic, 1868 to 1882. Himalaya Festatrix, a fungus that eventually wiped out the coffee industry in Sri Lanka. It has since spread to almost every country in the world affecting coffee production. Fusarium oxysorum, 1876. The fungus responsible for Panama disease is discovered in bananas in Australia. The fungus is resistant to fungicide and cannot be controlled chemically. It threatens global banana production and the world's most popular cultivar banana, Cavendish. Downy mildew, 1878 to 1885. This oomycete disease caused a grape epidemic in France. The disease has a wide variety of hosts, including the cucurbits, family of plants. Robert Koch, 1843 to 1910. In 1879, germ theory was established and spontaneous generation was disproved. While working with anthrax and isolating the bacterium, Koch was able to show that a specific microorganism caused a specific disease. This further supported germ theory. Koch's postulate establishes a method to test if a plant is under the effect of a disease or an environmental condition. Pierre Marie Alexis Mirard, 1885, introduces the Bordeaux mixture to control downy mildew on grapes. This mixture includes copper sulfate. The copper ions prevent the fungus from germinating and thus preventing an outbreak. Fire blight, 1885. First evidence that bacteria causes fire blight on apples. 
Adolf Meyer, 1886. He finds that tobacco mosaic virus, a disease transferred between plants, is similar to bacteria. Dmitry Ivanovsky, 1892. He continues to work on tobacco mosaic virus with filters, and he discovers that TMV is non-bacterial agent. He proves that TMV is not a bacteria because it cannot be filtered like a bacteria. Martinus Berading, 1898. He is considered one of the founders of modern virology and environmental microbiology. He proved that TMV was a particulate and used the term virus to describe the disease. Some modern dates of plant pathology. 1902, first chair plant pathology created in Copenhagen, Denmark. 1904, genetic traits for cereal rust resistance demonstrated. These traits were shown to be able to be inherited by offspring of resistant plants. 1907, first academic department established in Cornell University for plant pathology. 1967, recognition of a new plant pathogen, mycoplasm-like organism, MLO, later called phytoplasm. I hope you learned something new, and maybe you'll make a discovery to be added on this list on a future date.